Well, once again, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. You'll have to excuse if I repeat myself this morning, but there's a, a story that I just find so wonderful for today. Um, it happened to me when well, I was doing some voiceover work in San Francisco, maybe 12 years ago. I'd gone in to, to, to get some help with an accent I needed to be able to do in a, in a play I was in. And I was done with my session as I was leaving. There was a young guy, his name was Dave, he was Jewish, sitting at the reception desk. And as I left, I said, I said, I said it was this time of year, I said, take care, Dave, have a very happy Thanksgiving. He said, oh, I will, it's my favorite holiday of them all. I said, really, why is that? He said, well, it's so non-denominational. <laughs> Must not be a practicing Jew, I guess. But I smiled at that and it made me laugh because for us as people of faith, having today be non-denominational makes about as much sense as Pentecost not being about the Holy Spirit or Easter not being about the risen Jesus or Christmas not being about the birth of Jesus. If this is non-denominational for us, if this doesn't involve God, someone to be thankful to, it sort of takes the heart right out of the day. It's a great day for football and for naps and for lots of food, whether they say feast mode all of a sudden, but it takes the heart out of what this is about. And for us as a Catholic people, Thanksgiving is supposed to be an attitude, a state of heart and a state of mind that gives shape to our life each and every day. As I'm sure you know, what we do here at this altar every time we gather together is Eucharist, which is a Greek word meaning thanksgiving. It's why we gather together. It's why we worship. It's why we come here always to give thanks. Every time we start our prayer, it is right to give you thanks and praise. It is truly right to give you thanks and praise, Lord God, Almighty Father. It's what we do. It's what we are about. And so it's so lovely that you are all here this morning for the very purpose of giving thanks to God. We all know, I don't have to talk much about it, that the last year and a half-ish has been very difficult. When I was looking at my notes from last Thanksgiving, I found that last year I reflected upon the pandemic as being something to be grateful for because it had a silver lining that it had brought us to recognize more deeply those things that were truly important in our life, those things that truly needed our time and our attention, whether it was our family, our friends, how we were spending the short time that we have on the world, getting our relationship with God squared away. And I smiled because I'm not sure that's the case anymore. As the world has sort of started to get back to normal, and everything we used to do has started to come back into place. I think the pandemic has become much more of a pain to us than it was before. And I'm not sure we haven't lost the sense of what might have been accomplished in those moments. And of course, you only have to go to any news media outlet to begin to see how difficult things are in the world. Rather, it's the uh, recent, you know, gangs who have been uh, raiding stores and shoplifting, or whether we hear about wars in different places, distant areas, the threat of Russia building up forces outside of Ukraine, whether we hear about the ongoing homelessness problem, or, or even today, yesterday I was watching TV, and I saw that one of the local news channels this afternoon on Thanksgiving Day is doing a special about the most hideous crimes of 2021 and where we stand on them right now. Yeah, we have to be careful. We have to be careful because of course you can go to, I don't know, MSNBC or CNN or Fox News and find whatever political outrage you're particularly interested in a given day. It's there for you. And the danger is those headlines created by people outside our lives can shape reality for us. But today reminds us, as we come before God, that that's not all of reality, nor is that likely most of our reality. That today, I think, before anything else, 
cause us to write our own headlines about our own lives and what they are. Things like, Alvin, will you stand up for a minute? Amazing local man celebrates 98th birthday yesterday. <laughs> and he rides a three-wheeled motorcycle. Amazing, Alvin. Happy birthday to you. Congratulations. JC and Paul, will you stand up, please? Where'd you guys go? There you are. Stand up. Local artisans cut down own tree to create beautiful atmosphere in the church for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Our lovely things today like people are amazingly generous and feed the hungry. Spouses love each other today. Friends travel great distances just to see each other. Hundreds of people come to church to give thanks to God on a day that is not a holy day of obligation. <laughs> Rectory receives lots of pies. <laughs> Local priest awakened at 3 a.m. by Thanksgiving texts from European friends. Time zones, people, be attentive to time zones. <laughs> but I think if we look around at our lives, we will see how blessed we are, how good they are, how God shapes a reality for us that is one of grace, that is one of hope, that is one of joy. Simply today, I would say this. What are the headlines of your life? What are the things that bring gratitude to your heart today? Don't let them get lost in what others might say reality is. But of course we realize too that along with this day comes an obligation. And that is with the many blessings we have, the gifts we've been given, the talents we possess, the resources entrusted to our care, comes the task of, if you will, writing headlines for others of sharing the goodness, of sharing the joy, of sharing the resources, so that each and every person we encounter will know something of the goodness of God through us. So today, what are your headlines? And tomorrow, what headlines will you write for others? On behalf of myself and the entire staff, we wish all of you, wherever you are, a very happy and holy and peaceful Thanksgiving. May this coming season ahead be one that brings us all aware of the great blessings God has given us.